Speaking of weather, thunder is a common sound to hear when spring storms roll through our area. But Mother Nature will also be providing some other sounds on area waterways. Fox 2 meteorologist Jamie Travers explains tonight. Rainy days can be a drag, but now that it's spring, we get to enjoy a full chorus of frogs on these soggy evenings and other amphibians are on the move, a sign of warmer weather. The frogs have, have um, come out in the spring as, as well, the salamanders, and it's these warm spring rains that's driving them um, to these breeding ponds this time of the year. And so they're at those ponds now, breeding, finding mates, and laying their eggs in those fishless ponds. If you listen closely on rainy nights, there's a lot you can hear. So you're probably going to uh, still hear some spring keepers. Um, American toads are starting to call right now with the, with the warmer weather and these warmer rains. Um, probably some cricket frogs and also chorus frogs. And it'll only get louder in the coming weeks. The spring peepers have been loud. They're going to get louder as it warms up and, and then the other frogs are going to be joining in and they can almost be deafening. Not only is there a lot to hear, there's much to see on these fishless ponds as well. If there's salamanders that have gone to the pond, you're going to start seeing their eggs now. Once the toads start laying eggs, you're going to start to see those. They lay them almost like a string and then the other frogs will be in big masses in the shallows of the water, right close to the bank. Tadpoles and salamander larvae will be hatching within the next couple of weeks. The faster the water's warm, the faster the eggs will hatch. People can get out and they think there's nothing they can do when it's dark and rainy out. There's some pretty cool stuff to see. What kid doesn't like to hold a slimy little tadpole for a few seconds? And they can actually learn about, they can identify these frogs just by their calls, which is kind of a fun little uh, thing, activity you can do. Meteorologist Jamie Travers, Fox 2 News.